Hello, YouTubers. This is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model. Today, I'll be doing a review on a JC Wing Singapore Airlines Boeing 787 10 Stretch Dreamliner in a 1 200 scale model. I pre ordered and purchased this model from Choice Toys, whose store is based out of Overland Park, Kansas, here in the United States of America, and its website address is www.choystoysinc.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular model, allow me to share some information about the history of Singapore Airlines, if you would please. Singapore Airlines was founded on May 1, 1947, under the incorporation of Malayan Airways Limited by the Ocean Steamship Company of Liverpool, the Strait Steamship Company of Singapore, and Imperial Airways, respectively. Then fast forward to September 16, 1963, the airline became Malaysian Airways Limited. Then fast forward to May 1, 1966, it became Malaysia Singapore Airlines. Now fast forward to September 30, 1972, when Malaysia Singapore Airlines decided to split up and become two separate entities, Singapore Airlines and Malaysian Airlines System, which is known today as Malaysia Airlines, due to conflicts between the governments of Singapore and the governments of Malaysia on expanding into international markets. And as a result, Singapore Airlines commenced operations on the very next day on October 1, 1972, and has been operating under the Singapore Airlines name ever since. The headquarters of Singapore Airlines is located at the Airline House, which is located at 25 Airline Road in Singapore, whereas the airline's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of Singapore Changi Airport, which is located across the 11 miles northeast of the Commercial Center District of Changi, Singapore. As of June 2018, or at the time of this video review posting, Singapore Airlines flies to 62 destinations in 32 countries across five inhabited continents from its primary hub at Singapore Changi Airport with the operating fleet of 122 aircraft that includes six of the next generation Boeing 787-10, including this one. And in addition to the 122 aircraft that currently operates in the Singapore Airlines fleet, the airline also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 109 more aircraft, which includes 43 of the next generation Boeing 787-10s, and those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also, as of June 2018, or at the time of this video review posting, Singapore Airlines is one of 11 airlines in the aviation world, along with ANA All Nippon Airways, based out of Tokyo, Japan, Japan Airlines, also based out of Tokyo, Japan, Asiana Airlines, based out of Seoul, South Korea, Cathay Pacific, based out of Hong Kong, Etihad Airways, based out of Abu Dhabi, Eva Air, based out of Taipei, Taiwan, Garudu Indonesia, based out of Jakarta, Indonesia, Hainan Airlines, based out of Heiko, Hainan, China, Lufthansa, based out of Cologne, Germany, and Qatar Airways, based out of Doha, Qatar, to actually hold this prestigious honor of currently operating as a certified five-star airline carrier, according to the international airline review firm, Skytrax Magazine. Now, let's take a look at the front of the box you see here. We're going to start at the top here. You see the aircraft type right there, the Singapore uh, Airlines title and the airline's logo, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, and you see here on the left side, the Boeing official license product decal along with the information as well as the 1200 scale diecast aircraft model information at the lower part of the box. Now you're looking at the back of the box here. We're going to start on the left side here. You see the Singapore Airlines title and the airline's logo, the aircraft type, the specification information you see there, and the warning information. Then you come over to the right side of this box here, you see the uh, the length and the width of the aircraft, and you see the uh, length and the width of the aircraft from the aerial bird's eye view. And then there's the JC Wings logo. You can pause and read that information if you like. Now you're looking at the top of the box you see there, the aircraft type, the Singapore Airlines title, the airline's logo, as well as the 1200 scale diecast aircraft model information at the top of the box as well as the bottom of the box. The same information I showed you at the top of the box earlier on, okay? Now you're looking at the metal model stand that came with the model, and then you see all the information on that plaque, on that uh, model stand there. This is something JC Wing just started doing recently. You see the Singapore Airlines title, the airline's logo, the aircraft type, as well as the scale model information there. As well, you see that black padding there, folks. And the purpose of that black padding is to prevent your model from being damaged or scratched. That's what that black pattern is there for. 
Now you're looking at this plastic bag, and what you see in this plastic bag are the gear replacement doors, featuring the two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into detail for the purpose of these gear replacements for this particular model, all right? All right, with all that information out of the way about the history of Singapore Airlines, all the details here on the front of this box, as well as the specification information about the aircraft on the back of the box, the metal model stand that came with the actual model, plus the gear replacement doors here in this plastic bag. With no further ado, everyone, here is the model. Check it out. There it is, everyone, the JC Wing Singapore Airlines Boeing 787-10 stretch Dreamliner in a 1-200 scale model. Allow me to share some information about how Singapore Airlines played a big role in making this aircraft become a reality. Singapore Airlines became the actual launch customer of this aircraft type, the next generation Boeing 787-10 stretch Dreamliner, as Singapore Airlines became the first global carrier to acquire this brand new state-of-the-art aircraft, as Singapore Airlines took delivery of its first of 49 of the next generation Boeing 787-10 stretch Dreamliners that Singapore Airlines had placed orders for back on May 30, 2013, and received their very first first next generation Boeing 787-10 stretch Dreamliner aircraft which bared the registration ship number 9V-SCA at a delivery ceremony that was held at the Boeing 787 Final Assembly Line Facility Complex in North Charleston, South Carolina on March 14, 2018. However, the aircraft wasn't officially delivered to Singapore Airlines until March 25, 2018. Then made its actual debut on April 3rd, 2018 with a validation flight between Singapore and Bangkok, Thailand and Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia respectively for crew familiarization purposes, giving the maintenance crews, the flight crews and the ground staff personnel time to get familiar with the aircraft before the actual revenue service launch. Then fast forward one month later, that's when Singapore Airlines' first inaugural flight on this aircraft actually took place, which was on May 3rd, 2018, and that's when Singapore Airlines officially began utilizing this aircraft on their singapore to osaka kansai route, followed by their Singapore to Perth, Australia route respectively, alternating with the Airbus A330-300 and the Boeing 777-200 that's currently employed on these routes, as Singapore Changi will eventually become the gateway base for this aircraft type, as the Boeing 787-10 will become the aircraft that will ultimately replace the Airbus A330-300s, the Boeing 777-200s, and the Boeing 777-300s for regional operations in the foreseeable future, as the Boeing 787-10 will become one of the airline's official flagship jetliners for the Singapore-based carrier, along with the forthcoming next-generation Boeing 777-9X, which is scheduled to enter Singapore's fleet sometime in 2021, as Singapore Singapore Airlines expects all 49 of their Boeing 787-10s to be fully operated in their fleet by the end of 2023. Now let's talk about the unique livery on this aircraft. This is the current livery scheme for Singapore Airlines as the logo type and the stripes actually underwent another livery makeover in 2006 which saw the Singapore Airlines billboard title font was enlarged and moved towards the front of the fuselage and the airline's bird logo on the tail fin of the aircraft was enlarged as well. And this has been the airline's signature livery look ever since 2006. So, with all that information out of the way about how Singapore played a big role in this aircraft becoming a reality, plus delivery on this aircraft, let's get down to business and let me show you all the details on this aircraft. Show we? Let's roll. All right, we're gonna start at the front of the aircraft here on the port slash left side where you see the nose gears right here, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door with the reg partial registration ship number on it, CB. You see the Peter tubes and the static ports, what have you, the nose cone, the cockpit windows, as well as the windshield wipers. But you see that decal right there between the um, cockpit window and the L1 door? That is the Star Alliance decal, and Singapore Airlines is part of the Star Alliance, in which Singapore Airlines joined the Star Alliance on April 1st, 2000, which consists of 28 airline members from five inhabited continents. And this alliance includes Air Canada, Lufthansa, SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, Thai Airways International, and United as the five founding members. Okay, and then you see the nice little cheat line going across the aircraft here as well, including the Singapore Airlines titles there as well. And right by the Singapore uh, Airlines billboard title, you see the Singapore flag decal right there. And this flag decal represents the country where Singapore Airlines currently operates from as the national flag carrier airline for the country of Singapore. 
Now you're looking at the inboard landing lights here on the edge of the wing right there in the triangular pattern right there. You see little three dots in there, which makes it real detailed and realistic. All right, we're still on the port side of the aircraft where you see these big, massive engines right here. But before we get to the engine, get a check of these uh, bogey landing gears here the, uh, on the port side, landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. But now, more importantly, the engines here, you see these big, massive engines there. These are the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines that are used on this particular Singapore Airlines Next Generation Boeing 787-10 stretch streamliner aircraft. You also see the engine cones there. And the purpose of the sawtooth pattern is for noise reduction and help fuel efficiency at the same time. Now I'm going to turn this aircraft model around let you see the front end of the uh, engines and the turbo fan blades do spin. Check it out. Now you're looking at the front angle of these engines featuring the engine strikes right here and the turbo fan blades do spins I mentioned earlier. Check this out. Perfect. And then you see the inboard land lights here. You got a, a decent view of the inboard land lights right there as well as the front angle of the uh, landing gears here on the port side, the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the starboard side featuring the engine strikes over here and the turbo fan blade spin as well. Check this out. Oh, that's one a little stuck there, folks. Uh, a little challenge with that one. That's a little stuck there. But, all right, that's all right. Uh, it's stuck there, but it's all good, though. We see the inboard landing lights right here, as well as the front uh, landing gears here on the uh, starboard side, the landing gear struts, as well as landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft, where you got a, a great visual view of the uh, pilot's cape hatch door up here. Uh, the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the nose cone, the nose gear doors. Inside the nose gear doors, you see the uh, nose gear lights as well as the nose gear struts and the actual nose gears. So with that said, I'm going to take it back to the port side of the aircraft because there's more information I'd like to share with you over there as well. Let's roll. Now you're looking at the right wing tip here on the uh, port side of the aircraft where you see the red navigation lights displayed on the right wing tip. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the uh, port side. And below the uh, rest straight ship, now you see the a, uh, AFT bolt bin door right there. But more importantly, you see the rest straight ship number, 9V-SCB. Rest straight ship number, 9V-SCB. This aircraft is the second of 49 Boeing 787-10 stretch streamliners to enter the Singapore Airlines fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on March 9, 2018, and was delivered to Singapore Airlines on April 2, 2018. Now, we stay at the back of the aircraft here on the port side, where you see the Singapore Airlines logo that's displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft. The Singapore Airlines logo actually resembles that of a bird that's inspired by a silver crisp, which comes from the Keras, a dagger from Southeast Asia, prominently featured in the region's myth and folklore and has been the airline's official logo ever since the airline's inception from the split of Malaysia-Singapore Airlines in 1972. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here where you see the APU exhaust right here and there is a hole there. If you don't know what APU stands for, it stands for Zero Air Power Unit. That's what that hole is, folks. And then next to the APU uh, exhaust hole in the uh, horizontal stabilizers, this little deal here, that is the strobe light, all right? Now you're looking at the Singapore Airlines Boeing 787-10 stretch Dreamliner, sorry about that, from the rear view angle. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the nose gears, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door with the partial retrograde ship number on the nose gear, CB. You see the Peter tubes and the static ports, the nose cone, the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the Pilescape hatch door, the Star Alliance decal, the front cargo containing loading door right here. You see the Singapore Airlines billboard tire along with the multicolored cheat line right there, as well as the Singapore flag decal. 
Now you're looking at the cylinder aircraft where you see the Rolls Royce Trent 1000 engines there featuring the detailed uh, sawtooth pattern right there as well as the engine cone right there. And then you got a better visual view of the landing bogey gears here on the starboard side, the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. And you also see the Singapore flag decal there as well, including the Singapore Airlines billboard titles. Now you're looking at the rake wingtip here on the starboard side, featuring the green navigation light that's displayed on the rake wingtip. Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the rear cargo container loading door right there, the registration ship number, as well as the airline's logo that's displayed on this multicolored painted tail fin of the aircraft, as well as the strobe light next to the APU exhaust. Check it out. There it is, the strobe light right there next to the APU exhaust. Okay, before I show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view this aircraft model. I'm gonna let you check out one feature which is the rolling gears which rolls pretty good okay it tilts even tilts by itself all right great and the nose gear swivel as well there there and there okay so with that said allow me to show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft let's check it out now you're looking at this aircraft from the area of bird's eye view we're gonna start at the front here you see the nose cone the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the pod escape hatch door. You see the star lines decal on both sides. You see the emergency escape hatch door number one, along with the anti collision beacon light right there. You see the Singapore Airlines titles on both sides. Another high frequency antenna. You see the satellite communications antenna there, along with the flag decal. There's a emergency escape hatch door number two. There's the Wi Fi box antenna. Emergency escape hatch door number three. And you see a couple more high frequency antennas. That's the tail there, along with the horizontal stabilizers there and there. Now you see that little dot right there on the horizontal stabilizer as well as over here as well. Those are the illuminated lights that light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the wings here. No wing walkway, but you got the flaps, slats, aileron spoils, what have you. You see the engines there. Come up this way the field dump valve, and the rake wing tip. Let's check out this side here. No wing walkway, but you got the engines there, as well as the flat, slats, aileron spoils, what have you. Field dump valve, as well as the rake wing tip on this side of the aircraft as well. Now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft. You see the nose cone. I don't know what that deal is about a nose cone, but you see the... Uh, Closed nose gear door, as well as the open nose gear door, as well as the nose gear. Then you slide up this way. You see the anti-collision beacon light there. The hole where the stand goes in at. And then a couple more high frequency antennas. No APU housing door, but there's the horizontal stabilizers there and there underneath. Well, let's check out the gears here, folks. The gears tilt, perfect. See the engines there, very detailed, as well as the flaps, slats, aileron spoilers. See the registration ship number, the field dump valve, as well as the rake wing tip. Let's check on this side here. The gears here, the gears tilt, perfect. The engines there, as well as the flaps, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you. Field dump valve, as well as the rake wing tip on this side of the aircraft as well. Now, since I showed you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft mount, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft mount in full detail, now I'm going to put on that nice little metal model stand that came with the actual model. So with no further ado, here is the model on the stand. Check it out. Okay, fine, got this model on the stand, no problem, no hesitation, as you see it being displayed in a takeoff landing position. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft, uh, in a takeoff landing position with the wings flexing a little bit with the model on the stand. Now you see this model being displayed in a takeoff landing position with the model on the stand here on the starboard side. Now you see this model being displayed in a takeoff landing position on the tail cam angle. 
All right, before I take this mod off the stand, I got in this position for a reason. The reason is I'm going to go ahead and take off the magnetic gear, starting with the nose gear here first. See there, magnetic there. The gears here on the uh, port side, there, as well as the gears on the starboard side, there. And now, since I ain't got these gears off this model, I'm going to let you see this model being displayed in flight position at a different angle. Check it out. There it is, you see the model being displayed in flight position, in flight mode position without the gears. Now you got one or two options how you want to display your model from this point on. This option right here, that's just fine, no problem. You want to display it like that, that's fine. You see these gear replacement doors inside this plastic bag? That's the purpose of these gear replacements is to substitute your gears while you display your model like this in flight mode position. Or you can keep it in the other position as I recommend, in the gear down position with the gears on there. Gears up, gears down, that's your choice. But I choose to leave mine on because it adds more value to the model. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and put these gears back on this model, take this model stand, and go ahead and wrap up this model review. All right? All right, let's talk about the seating configuration. The Singapore Airlines Boeing 787-10 Stretch Dreamliner seats 337 passengers in a two-class configurated cabin layout. Here's the breakdown, everyone, from rows 11 to 20 which will be from here to right here. You have 36 regional business class seats in rows 41 to 74, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have an additional 301 economy class seats, which range a total of 337 seats. And finally, Singapore has begun or will begin utilizing their Boeing 787-10s on regional routes from Singapore to destinations such as Kuala Lumpur for crew training purposes. Bangkok, Osaka, Kansai, Tokyo, Narita, Nagoya, Fukuoka, Denpasar Valley, which will, which has already commenced, Manila, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, and Perth, Australia. Where well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting it if you can find it. This model is becoming very hard and very scarce to find as we speak. All right. So with that said, please rate, subscribe, leave your comments, and suggestions. You got any questions? And with that said, please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.